Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about Sahadri College of Engineering and Management uh, which is based out of Mangalore and it's one of the autonomous institution. So I'm going to review this college today and talking about this college started in 2007, right? So it almost like uh, 15 batches have passed. Talking about the location, it is uh, located on the very uh, you know, beautiful Netravati River Bank, right, in Mangalore. And the campus size is decent 35 acres. Talking about the affiliation recognition, it is autonomous college affiliated with Vishwasaraya Techno uh, Technological University and it's approved by AICT, UGC. And it's recognized by Department of, you know, Science and Technology for its uh, scientific in and industrial research capabilities. And talking about this NB accreditation, it's many of the UG courses like mechanical, electronics and communication, computer science and engineering and information science engineering. All are NB accredited up to 2026 and it's a NAC A grade college. So before going for the placements and the other review, this is a campus tour, quite beautiful campus with a good amount of facilities, infrastructure available. So you can see the sports ground here and some of the building infrastructure which are, they are part of the good size campus. So it's all modern facilities but in the traditional environment and these are some of the pictures of the library and the other infrastructure which you can see here. And that's the gym facility available. Now talking about the different courses it offers. So BE Bachelors of Engineering, M.Tech program and uh, uh, MBA is through PGCT exam and uh, uh, talking about MSc Engineering and the PhD research. So talking about the engineering program which is the key focus area of this video. So they, they have a computer science engineering branch, AIML branch and information science engineering. So three branches here from CSC domain. And they do have electronics and communication, mechanical engineering and robotics and automation. So good news is the number of branches are low and the number of seats available is quite low. That is good for the placement perspective. And uh, talking about some of the, uh, you know, the achievements VTU ranks. So they have got 19 VTU ranks as per the latest 2025. Uh, nine ranks for AIML branch, CSEML, seven for computer science engineering and data science and three ranks for the mechanical engineering branch so that is good performance and talking about the management quota details which is available on the portal that cs aiml branch is around 3.4 lakhs per year information science engineering around 3 lakhs per year ec around 2.2 lakhs robotics and automation around 2.2 and mechanical engineering 1.5 lakh rupees per year but again there could be additional you know one time donation which will be applicable over and above this now directly jump onto the placements i'm going to cover mostly the placements of 2025 and the nirf data for last three years so this is the highest package which they have claimed is 72.3 lakhs with the student for robotics and automation engineering placed in rolls royce so this looks like to be placement like international placement the second highest salary is with the company called belk and uh, this is for Department of Computer Science Engineering, 44 lakhs package. And this also looks to be basically the international placements. Now moving towards, you know, the other higher salaries are with Department of AIML placed with IMV Corporation and package offered is around 36 lakhs. Moving further, this is with GEMS Corporation and you can see 35 lakhs package for again the student from CSC department. This is another package with the company called Ashan, where the package offered is 34.81 lakhs for CSC student again. This is another package with the Japanese Research Institute, JRI Limited, 34 lakhs approximately. And then moving forward, this package is for a student from CSC department with the company called Otawa, 33.75 lakhs package. And then this is with another company called Starlight. Department of Robotics and Automation. The package offered is in the range of 32.31 lakhs. These are some more packages by the students from the Japanese companies. Japnet Holding System in India, 31 lakhs. Another student got uh, Japnet Holding, 31.8 lakhs. So three students got the same salary. 
and then another student got with the company called contact as a hardware engineer profile 31.49 lakhs package now moving to the next package which is company called the seki package is 29.65 that's a robotics and automation and uh, uh, the another package which is 29.25 with the company called inx this is with the department of mechanical engineering package offered is 26.68 if if a key corporation so these are all international placements now talking about the nrf placement detail for last three year which is important parameter for india based offer so if you see 2022 batch 713 students were eligible for participating in placements out of which 442 students got placed with the uh, median salary of 4 four two lakhs and then in next year 2023 passing batch out of 635 students eligible 385 got placed with the median salary of four lakhs and in 2024 batch 580 students were eligible to participate in the placements and out of which 314 got placed with the uh, you know median salary rising to 4.75 lakhs so these are the updates based on the nira placement data submitted by the college so that's all in this video. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in Karnataka. Take care and bye.